okay guys hi my love welcome back to my channel it's friday i'm so excited i've been listening to my husband music all morning all morning i don't know why sometimes i feel like just listening to him all morning all week all day all it doesn't matter so today i feel like i'm missing his music and i want to listen to it so i've been listening to his music and i love it if you guys are yoruba muslim and you listen to my husband you would definitely know the, definitely know this song from back in the days you know back to send danny go back to send danny go you would definitely not know that song because I I was growing up knowing that song anyways back to another cooking video today I know I'm playing a lot I just I'm just happy because you know I'm just happy I'm just happy I've been through a lot in the past three weeks you guys know I was sick I was tired I was complaining but yo thank God it's been almost four days now I haven't felt any sickness Glory be to God. So I'm here, brand new. Want to cook for the weekend? I love to cook for the weekend. I don't know about you guys. I don't like to do anything on the weekend. I don't like to cook on the weekend. I like to cook breakfast and Sunday for our family because we are always together. But other than that, I don't like like cooking. Oh, so I like to do all my cookings on Friday. Delicious meal for the kids. You know, I want to go out. I want to enjoy myself. Pretty much most of the time we go out we just eat like you know junk food and we come back we eat great food which is already in the fridge so i'm going to show you guys what i usually prepare if this is not what i usually prepare like i just prepare something i don't know what what it would be but i like to have stew in the fridge how many of you guys like to have stew in the fridge you know do you like to make stew but like, i like to make batch of stew for the whole weekend and i also like to make you know rice along with it or fried rice or jollof rice so if you follow me on instagram as well you will know that every friday i cook jollof rice i never miss a friday except from when i was sick without cooking jollof rice i cook jollof rice for the kids so today i'm gonna be cooking um turkey stew which is like i love turkey turkey so many things i like about turkey is that it's delicious it doesn't take longer to cook like beef or goat and it just it's just so nice the bone of oh, everything especially when like sucking the when they're sucking in the stew and you start eating them and you suck on the you know the bones are just so delicious and so healthy so i'm gonna be cooking fresh turkey that i got from a local butcher shop so yeah so i am talking a lot with that being said if you're new to my channel my name is abby i post video on here just mainly cooking i love to cook for my family i love cooking itself and i love to record for you guys please i would love you to subscribe and support my channel support my vlog channel too that's where you will see my family my extended family my stepchildren my children please go check it out in the comment section below you will find it i also have a weight loss channel mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. look at me guys i lost so much weight in the past and I'm not even gonna talk a lot. Go check out my weight loss channel to know how you can lose weight without trying or exercising. Who doesn't want to look good? I want to look good. I want to look good all the time. And check out user channel and check out my little kids channel. If you have little ones, let them watch my little kids. They're so funny. They're so adorable. Yeah, anyways, with that being said, let's get cooking because I know I'm gonna be rambling here. And please don't forget to subscribe. I got my eyes on you. I cannot sing. I got my turkey here. I got my turkey here and I'm going to be washing this out now really fast and put all the ingredients in it. First, I already turned on my oven because I'm going to be putting the turkey in the oven. So, and the pan is right here. And um, yeah, just going to give it a good rinse down. 
Bunny Momo, Gabby, I know me. Mamma, I am a session. Little Nicosi, who me love along. Hey guys, so I got my chocolate chalky all washed, nice and clean. I'm gonna be putting the ingredients in it. So first, I'm gonna I'm gonna put all the ingredients. The same ingredients I use all the time, but I'm gonna say the name to you guys. I'm putting time. I put enough that you know that will cook it and make it delicious. I'm gonna put um, time. I don't know if I should put fresh time. No, it's okay. I'll put just dry time. So I can use my fresh time for kettle fries or fried rice. I'm gonna be putting my uh, garlic powder and ginger powder. I'm still gonna break fresh ginger in there too. I like to put fresh bay leaves in there. You know, a couple, like about four or five. And I'm gonna put some chicken broth powder and some salt, salt, salt. I'm gonna add some salt in it. And some water. Like I said, I'm gonna be grating some fresh ginger and some onions in here. So I'm gonna be slicing half of these big onions. I'm gonna slice it in here. Somebody um, left the comment. I think about a couple people actually, not one person said, I'd be every time you touch meat, make sure you wash your hands. And of course I do wash my hands. Not every time I show everything on camera, like, oh, how I'm washing my hands, you know? I'm cooking for my family. I have little one in the house, so of course I have to wash my hands when I touch meat. And I have to disinfect the sink and everything like that. So yeah, I have shown that in a couple videos, but I don't think I have to be showing that every time. We are not keep here. So that's why, if you don't see me wash my hands in front of the camera, it doesn't mean that I didn't wash my hands. Oh, I don't wash my hands. So yes, I do wash my hands um, all the time. So I'm gonna be grating some ginger in the turkey. Oh, I love my organic ginger. I love my organic ginger. Okay. I'm just excited. I'm just excited that my kids are gonna be so happy. Every time they come back from school and there's like, Food waiting for them they are gonna be so 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 happy so um yeah I'm gonna use this leftover later so now I'm gonna clean my sink and disinfect my sink so wash the things that I use and um, I usually use this for my cabinet in Miss Mayor's it's almost done and I also have Mr. Clean and water here it's disinfected so well so after I finish washing everything I'm gonna disinfect it with that Okay, I'm gonna let that sit there so you can disinfect it very well. And um, I want to talk to you guys about one thing really quickly. If you have a video suggestion, cooking video suggestion, please leave it in the comment section below because it helps me a lot to know what you guys want to see. It's not like I'm just creating something in my head, you know. So like my daughter was telling me the other day, have you cooked jollof rice for them? And I'm like, I don't even think I have jollof rice in my budget to, to cook for you guys. And she was like, why? That, they would love to see that. I'm like, I know there's tons of jollof rice recipe on YouTube. And um, and if you guys want to see my recipe, because I just like to be unique and different. I like to cook something different. Something that, you know, I don't know. 
I, I don't know I, I don't mind to cook jollof rice for you guys but if you guys want to see jollof rice recipe fried rice recipe uh, you know some things that are very common in Nigeria that people cook all the time let me know otherwise I'm not even like cooked jollof rice for a lot, very very long time so yeah let me know what you guys would like to see what food you want me to cook I would love to like be here and make you guys and show you guys what you guys want to see that makes sense you know cook what you guys want to learn or want to see how I do mine so yeah okay guys so I'm gonna check my turkey now it's been cooking for at least about 40 minutes now so it should be ready because I want to put it in the oven as well so yeah of course this is yeah this is perfect this is the consistency that i'm looking for so i have my uh pan ready here it's been washed so i'm gonna put i'm gonna be lining it with some foil paper and like i said it's going in the oven and um i'm gonna be spraying i'm gonna be spraying it you know And now I'm going to place it in the oven. And my oven is on 450. So I'm going to leave it for like another, you know, one hour to like roast. I don't want it to be too roasted. So I just want it to be nice and, you know, coated, roasted. So I'm going to leave it back and forth, check it, mix it in for an hour. And then I will come back and then we can start cooking to get that. But for now, I'm going to start editing this video so it doesn't take me forever to edit. That's all I do with my videos. So yeah. Okay, my love. So my turkey should be ready by now. I'm going to take it out because I don't want it to be too over dry. Yes. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. This is the consistency I'm looking for. So it should be fine by right now. I'm just gonna put this down under it. So yeah. I'm gonna turn off my oven now and I'm gonna start cooking. This is where it gets interesting. Interesting, you know. So um I got my peppers out and I'm gonna blend my pepper. So before I blend the pepper, I'm gonna be showing you guys the pepper that I'm using. So I'm using the bell pepper, the hydrated one that I always use. I just put it in the microwave while the turkey was in the oven. I'm gonna be taking some of the Derica tomato paste to blend with it and some whole tomato. This is a whole tomato, it's different from this one. So I'm gonna get out my blender for the peppers and I'm using about about six peppers in there because I want the you know I want the sauce the stew to be really nice and thick. I don't want it to be like watery. I took everything that I need to take out and um, I'm gonna cut some of the ginger and the onions that I used earlier. And I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open the tin tomato and take about three tablespoons out. Like pretty much like half of the tomato. So yeah. I'm gonna put the rest in a small cup. I usually put it in like this cup. So my kid doesn't use this cup to drink or anything. So I just put it, I just put my tomatoes there. So I put it in the fridge and I wrap it up. Okay, so the 
this is what it looks like it's already been blended tomato so i'm gonna use that in there and there's a little bit left i'm gonna put in a container the last but not the least is i'm gonna be using um some garlic I hear my kids' voice. My kids are home, they're coming from downstairs now. I can hear their voice all the way up here. Okay, so I blended it. See how red that is? That's what I'm looking for. I want it to be red like that. I'm just gonna make sure it's blend it all the way because I don't want anything in there. I want it to be really blended. Yeah, so it's blended all the way, which is amazing. So now I'm gonna start my cooking. I'm gonna save uh, the chicken broth that I used, oh, sorry, the turkey broth that I used earlier. I'm gonna save it. <coughs> Hi girls. Hi. How's it going? Yes. How was school? Yes. Are you happy today's last day of school? Yes. You excited? Yes. Yay! Now, I think I have to bring the camera closer a little bit. Yeah, that way you guys can see what I'm cooking. A little bit like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn on my stove. No palm oil. Um, vegetable oil. Yes. Fry, deep fry, hot, very well. And I'm gonna dump the uh, the blended pepper into it. Yeah. Like I said to you guys, I like to put um, extra the extra one in a different container. The same thing with um, the tomato crush. I just like to like put it. I can use it for something for eggs, you know, for something on the weekend. And then with the tomato paste, I, I put it separately from the um, from this one. So I usually just wrap it up. Oh, I'm not showing you guys. I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna wrap this up. This is a tomato paste. I'm gonna use it for something. Probably moi moi on the weekend. And same as this one. So now my oil, my oil is uh, pretty much dry enough. So I'm gonna dump my sauce in here. prevent splashing I am going to cover it right away because I don't want it to splash everywhere I'm just adding water to rinse the blender still is really gross <laughs> I'm gonna wipe this a little splash here and I'm just gonna let it cook for at least six minutes before I add the ingredient <coughs> um I want to save some of this roasted turkey for later for my fried rice for the kids use I love turkey roasted so yeah just kind of like this is enough my husband would prefer to eat from the stew on top of his rice it doesn't matter if it's fried rice or love rice white rice he loves stew in his rice so yeah, um, yeah, so I'm saving this for Yusra and Malik will also eat like from the stew and the kids they don't care too But Yusra just likes the fried one on the side. I do like the fried one but like I try to like sorry not fried roasted I try to stay away from like meat pretty much but yeah um, Yeah, so I'm just gonna clean my You guys know me. I'm gonna clean my sink Mm, I'm gonna use a little bit of this broth in here later. Just a little bit, not too much, just to boost out the taste. Okay, 
Okay, so now I clean the sink. I'm gonna add the in the, in the ingredients. I can't talk. I'm gonna add the ingredients in the um, stew because it's splashing now. I want to move it right here, so you know, I'm, I'm gonna move it back on the stove, but I just don't want it to continue cooking and splashing. And so I'm just gonna leave it on on the stove that there's uh, no no heat on it. So for me to add my spice, put some bay leaves in the turkey while I was like um, boiling it. I'm gonna add some bay leaves in the stew. It just brings the taste out very very well. And I don't know if I told you guys, this already cooked for like five minutes. So I just want to add the ingredient now before it continues to cook more. So yeah, I added my Maggi broth and that's the Maggi broth. Sorry, the Maggi broth is what I added. And uh, I don't know if I should move this back a little bit. And I'm going to add my salt. Okay. And I want to add... A little bit of the curry and the curry just there to like boost the taste just the traces of curry in there it's not so strong at all just a little bit you know you can't even tell there's curry there but if you know how things taste you can know there's a little curry there yes honey tell me what is it mama Add it, everything I'm gonna put it back on the heat to continue cooking and my uh, stove is on medium high I'm gonna add my Again. See, it's splashing it and let it cook. So it's gonna cook for uh, at least about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna um, add the the turkey in there now. Oh god, I don't like when this thing splash. <laughs> it just scares me. Um, let me get my spoon out. So yeah, I'm gonna add the all the turkey in there, and I'm also gonna be adding the um, the broth the turkey broth, some of it in there as well. Just to add to the taste, you know. I would love you guys to recreate these. I feel like it's delicious. Everybody should have it. I'm gonna leave this little ones for the kids. So they can have it. You know, you can have some of the little ones left. Yeah. Yeah, it's two of them. One for you, one for Malika. Okay, so um yeah. This is I'm gonna mix it in. This two is like ready, but I just wanted to like cook in with the turkey a little bit. I wanna add some of this broth and Too much because so, I need it for my fried rice later. That's good. And I'm, gonna let it cook. And I'm gonna show you when it's done. Very simple recipe. Okay, my love. So, my turkey stew is ready, and I want to show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna mix it in. This is it. This is it, we are ready for the weekend and I can party all weekend long because I have a friend naming ceremony this weekend and I also have another baby shower that I'm going to. So yeah, I will not be home this weekend. So, but my kids are ready to go. Anytime they want to eat anything, it will be in the fridge. And yeah, so this is the end of the uh, video today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are gonna try it. It smells and tastes absolutely delicious so yeah this is it so if you like today's video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and until next time i will catch you guys in my next video god bless you all and i love you bye